In this mini lecture, I am going to talk about some of the very common and popular applications of computers in real world. The very first application is word processing. Word processing indicates the use of computers to type in documents using software like Microsoft Word and OpenOffice and so on. Internet, I don't need to tell you much. We all use the internet thanks to computers being interconnected all over the world. Now, if you have looked at movie studios, most of them today are very sophisticated where all the audio recording and video recording is done using digital technologies or using a computer. How many of you still use the old camera? I don't think anybody still uses the old camera. All of you use the modern digital camera. Desktop publishing stands for DTP. When you're generating magazines, when you're generating newspapers, before you even print the first newspaper or the magazine, you need to actually type it into a computer, put it in proper spacing, and that master copy is given for printing. So all the different fonts, the different images, the different styles, the decoration in the pages of the newspapers, you will see all that being done through the desktop publishing technology. E-business, again, common sense. Many of us buy items from Flipkart, Amazon, Snapdeal. That's an example of e-business done using computers. Or even businesses can do business with other businesses using the internet and computer technology. Bioinformatics, a very exciting field if you are taken up biotechnology as your career. Here what is done is the human gene sequence and the human gene data is really big. Manually you cannot match and process it. So bioinformatics uses programming languages like Perl and Python to process vast amount of genetic and other data to come about with analysis or discovery of new things in biotechnology domain. Healthcare used so much, used for remote medical care, used for determining smart watches have come which are basically smart computers to tell you what is the status of your health, then to keep records of your health in the hospital. Okay, so healthcare is another sector where computers are extensively used, not only from diagnosing your diseases, as you see in the smart machines of sonography, magnetic resonance imaging, these all have very high end computers within them. GIS, GIS stands for Geographic Information Systems. So what happens is, suppose in 1980, I have a picture of how Uttarakhand looked in terms of forest cover. I can again take pictures now and send it to the computer and it will tell me, oh, in 19, say 1990 or 1980, Uttarakhand had 80% forests. Today, 10% loss of forest has happened that's in this particular area. So geographical information systems or and remote sensing are applications, graphical applications which are used in domains like geology and so on. Metrology is basically, metro means measurement of something. So when you see nowadays you have all electronic measurement systems. So you have smart electronic weighing bridges. This is all example of metrology. Multimedia and animation, who can forget all those cartoons like Tom and Jerry, Augie the Cockroach. These are all developed using computers. The animation is done using computers because it's really fast. You can make changes and plus it saves you a hell lot of a time rather than going and trying to draw it. Legal system. Today, if you go to the Supreme Court website, all the cases with their results are available on the web. It will tell you which lawyer is fighting which case. When is your case next? Previously, they had to go to the case worker or the clerk to get all the information about when is their next hearing, what is the status of the case. Nothing like that. Today, all the district courts in the country are automatized. So you can go online and see what is the status of your case by just going to that particular district website and taking a look at it. Retail business, these are examples like more Big Bazaar, Suvida, all right, then your Reliance Retail. These are and if the famous DMART. So these are all examples where the billing of customers, keeping track of how many items were sold, which items to be ordered, which items are selling, which items are not selling. This is all done using computers. And then your favorite, video games, okay? 
I believe all of you have played at least video games once in your life. So that's all again computer technology. Mostly it's done using a lot of video games are done using C programming and C++. Entertainment. I don't need to tell you anything about it. You use your smartphone like a TV. You watch everything on it and your smartphone is nothing but it's a small smart computer in its own. Sports. In sports it's got various applications. Like if you look at cricket matches, you can see this ball tracking. Okay, you can see training the people or you can see how does a batsman get off and out more frequently, which is his strong area, which is his weak area. So you can do a lot of analysis using computers. So these I've just given you a limited set of applications of computers, but computers have got vast, vast applications. The idea of me telling you this was to tell you the future of jobs is going to be in the domain of computerization because even if you're in a mechanical engineer you are going to do mostly a design work than actually physically doing something if you're a civil engineer you're going to do all the design through software like autocad and so on so please make an effort to develop an interest in computers because it's a very fun subject and it's going to change your life for the better